girls and welcome to story time with Miss Randall. Now welcome to our fabulous Christmas series. Now I love this time of year. Lots of food, lots of presents, Santa <laughs> and time with our friends, family and loved ones. And lots of story time. I've got you boys and girls. This Christmas series is going to be filled with fabulous Christmas stories. Now, don't forget to ask your adult to subscribe down below so that they can be notified every time a new Christmas story drops. Are you ready to get reading? Let's go. <laughs> A Very Messy Christmas, written by Rosie Greening, illustrated by Claire Fennell, and chosen by Zoe. Thank you, Zoe. In Santa's toy workshop, the clean, tidy elves built neat piles of toys that all shone on the shelves. But Chip's toys were covered in paint splats and glue. And his workbench was cluttered with odds and ends too. It had teddies and teapots and yo-yos and hats. A didgeridoo and a very cross cat. Your toys are too messy, the other owl said. It's time that you tried out some new jobs instead. But Chip made a mess of each thing that he tried. Gift wrapping department. The radio groom room. Polar bear post office. How can I prove I'm a good elf? He cried. And that Christmas Eve... Santa rushed up in fear. I, I delivered the gifts, but I forgot this one here. Chip hurried forward. I'll take it for you. This must be a job that I'm able to do. Chip sailed and he slid and he soared through the skies. He whizzed down the chimney then gasped in surprise. <gasps> the tree wasn't glowing. The wreath was too small. The house wasn't festive or jolly at all. I have an idea, cried out the young elf. I'll make it look Christmassy all by myself. First I'll hang tinsel and paper chains too. But I only have Luro. I'm sure that will do. The stockings are missing. How dreadful, Chip said. I'll hang smelly socks by the fireplace instead. <laughs> this tree needs some snow, cried Chip with a smile. So he poured out the flour in powdery piles. cried the elf with delight. I'll bake lots of treats that are yummy and bright. But when Chip was finished, he saw with dismay that the house was a state. What would Santa Claus say? As Christmas Day dawned, Chip trudged home to confess. I delivered the gift, but I made such a mess. As Santa and Chip both began to despair, the Polar Bear Post brought a note for the pair. Dear Santa and all the owls, thank you for making our house full of cheer. We couldn't stop laughing. You've just made our year. Love, the Harris family and Pepperoni the dog. You're a talented elf. Santa said with a smile, 
you make people happy and, and spread joy with style. Santa helped Chip find the perfect new role. Planning parties for everyone at the North Pole. Chip's parties were triumphs and now he could see that the elf in himself was the best one to be. Boys and girls, I hope you loved our story from the Christmas series. Now don't forget to ask your grown-up to hit subscribe down below so that you know when our next Christmassy story drops and share with all of your friends so they can enjoy the Christmas story too. Now, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you again in the next story time with Miss Randall.